Hi, my name is Graham Cook and I'd like to wish a Happy New Year to everyone watching on BTV. You know, before the printing press was invented, many people read scrolls and some had handwritten books. But the Bible was not available to the common man until the original King James Version that was first published in 1611. In early Christianity, many churches, orders, and monasteries used to teach what they called a rule of life. The Latin word for that was regular, that is, something done regularly. It was aimed at all social classes, but had particular benefit amongst the uneducated. It involved taking a simple verse or a short passage of scripture, memorizing it, and seeking to live out your life issues through that special word of life. The regular was talked through, it was prayed over, and it was lived out in all daily life situations. And it became a predetermined response that allowed people to see, think, speak, and act in a consistent spiritual manner. At baptism, many people were given a regular by their leaders or their mentors as their life verse for walking with God. My own verse at baptism was 1 Timothy 6.12, fight the good fight of faith, take hold of the eternal life to which you were called, make a good confession of it in the presence of many witnesses. It has governed my life and ministry for more than four decades, and it guides my thoughts and actions on a consistent basis. A regular or a rule of life involves creating a rhythm for living in which we can develop a harmony with the nature of God. It would act as a filter for our thoughts and help us modify a pattern of behavior from which all of our actions could be drawn. And so this creates an instinctive ability to relate to God no matter what circumstances may arise. We're not caught out by life, nor are we overcome by events. It makes it easier to abide in the spirit and avoid the flesh. I have a regular that I've been practicing for many, many years, and it's been a wonderful blessing in my personal walk with the Lord. It's Colossians 3.17. Whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks through Jesus to God the Father. This particular regular is part of a bigger rule of life, so check out Colossians 3.12-16 to, to give yourself a deeper context. There are also some great examples of a rule of life in the Beatitudes of Luke chapter 6, verses 20 to 38, also Colossians 1, 10 to 12, or Philippians 3, 13 to 16, Philippians 4, 8 and 9, Ephesians 2, 10, and Galatians 6, 1 to 2. Of course, there are hundreds more. Enjoy asking the Lord for a personal one for yourself. I really love what this has done for me in creating a rhythm in which I can become more intimately connected to the Lord. Whatever we practice in our regular is what we extend to others as a grace and as an act of love. And I love it because it creates a core value for all situations of life. And it enables me to practice abiding in a very simple and profound way. So returning to Colossians 3.17, let's break it down. First three words, whatever you do. That is, no matter what the circumstances are, whether they're good or bad, you get to be consistent. There is an attitude in the way, the truth, and the life of Jesus that will glorify God and keep you in his nature. Whatever you do in word or deed, we all know that thoughts precede actions. A good mindset is an anchor point for response to the Lord and to people around us. A poor mindset leads to negative or reactionary words and actions which will, they're going to need apologies and some cleanup later on. 
do everything. There's no wiggle room there. Nothing is outside the scope or the experience of God's goodness. Make sure you learn to dwell and remain in Christ. Do everything in the name of Jesus. You are his ambassador. You represent the king and his kingdom. And that's always an honor. It's never a chore. His name creates life and hope for other people. And as we do that, we're giving thanks to the Father through Jesus. Because a rule of life is a delight. I love it because it creates a balance in my life between word and spirit. It helps me to maintain a heart that is continually grateful, thankful, and full of praise, which I think is so necessary in these difficult times. Doing something in Jesus' name means to do it in his character, in the way that he would do it. So it calls for us to rearrange our hearts and lives accordingly. Every moment is an opportunity to live in Jesus' name and in Jesus' nature towards other people with a thankful heart. It makes us good to be around, a tr and it gives a true spiritual face of what God is really like. Keep it simple. A regular, a rule of life should be short enough to memorize and powerful enough to be significant. It's helped me to stay God conscious, a sense of being alive to God that's enabled me to set my mind on things above. I use it as the filter, the lens, through which I view my life and God together. Over time, I love the fact that it puts a cloak of his presence around me and it severely disrupts any negative reactions. I think a regular, a rule of life is much better than a New Year's resolution. So why don't you try it out? Use one of the ones I've outlined or ask God for your own. Give some time and space to both the learning, the memorizing, and the practice. I love the process of walking with God in it. I hope you will too. Happy New Year to you. I hope this is the start of something amazing. Thanks for listening.